She was fine on a Thursday and woke up on a Friday and her legs didn't, you know, would not function the way they did the day before. Suddenly, just six months ago, two-year-old Isabella, an active toddler, could no longer stand. She'd cry every time her mother Gina tried to help her walk. After a battery of tests, Isabella was diagnosed with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. The natural reaction is, okay, what do we do and what does this mean long term? You know, will she grow out of it? Will this be debilitating? Juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which can cause severe joint inflammation and stiffness, affects about one in a thousand children. It can be devastating for a child. Limping, the inability to walk, limited flexibility, and severe pain in the eyes are just some of the challenges. Not only is the disease often misdiagnosed, it's thought of as an adult disease. Children are still growing, so their musculoskeletal system is developing. And if you don't recognize and treat it, they end up with alterations in the growth of that limb. Researchers at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh are working on developing a treatment that attacks the root of the problem, the defective genes causing the disease. We're trying to identify the genes and the proteins that are uh, involved in, this in these diseases. Gene analysis has already led to the discovery of several genes that appear to be involved in the destruction of the joint itself. The goal right now for researchers is to develop a drug that will block the bad genes function. If you could deliver it just to the tissue that needs it and leave the rest of the body alone, the idea was that you'd have less potential side effects. According to pediatric rheumatologist Dr. Raphael Hirsch, up until 10 years ago, aspirin and Motrin were virtually the only medicines available to help juvenile rheumatoid arthritis patients. But while the gene therapies are still several years away from being developed, there are finally some adequate treatments available now. About two-thirds of the patients, we can control their disease quite well with drugs such as methotrexate, for instance, and the newer generation of what we call the biologics, which are things like anti-TNF, anti-tumor necrosis factor uh, drugs. Thanks to intensive physical therapy and a regimen of medications, Isabella has now resumed her toddler activities. She's actually doing great. We've come a long way. I'm Dr. Mike Rosen.